let's talk about it. let's get positive now. All right, and then your yeah. side of the way. Uh, gentlemen, it has been uh, quite some time. Well, uh, it's been about a year for Vincent. It's been a few years for you, AJ. Uh, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to Scaractor Appreciation Month, year four. Um, you would have told me we were going to be doing this when we first started the channel. I would have just laughed at my own self. But uh, here we are, and we're doing it better, bigger and better than ever. It's rad. It's a, oh, yeah, a man. cool thing. I've always like appreciated. Because we're we are a type of haunt like haunt actors haunt monsters what are you gonna call them we shouldn't have fans we shouldn't be as fucking cool as these people make us like i've had people call me my character name out there they know who i am and like guys like you and sammy dude you guys went another fucking 10 yards for us to do this Pride, man. character appreciation thing to, to get like kind of our insight talk to us about it and like what we want to what we think and how we feel and that's rad and so i appreciate you guys just doing this and i'm seeing like you guys are getting into like the new blood uh that have kind of some like come in uh within the last like two or three years um and that's cool too because there's a lot of really good talent in in the park that oh have, yeah second third maybe fifth year that just just got a taste and put their toe in the water so yeah 100 dude i mean that's the thing i look i look forward to about every single year with with going into haunt season is what is the talent going to look like this year like who do we got coming in that's brand new who do we got that you know is going to really um for me it's always about kind of almost prospecting to see who i'm going to bring on to the to the show this season because like i mean i i always love bringing back the um some people that we've had on in the past you know to catch up to see how they've been doing uh you two are a good example of that um it's, it's always fun to bring you guys back because there's always new things to talk about uh aj we haven't talked to you since 2019 so there's a lot to catch up with you vincent you had another successful year in ghost town uh yeah, so there's some new things another another new things to talk about with ghost town another year of that um, but I, I just, I, you know, I mean, talking to the new people who, who've never done this, I mean, for example, the one that I could think of the top of my head that we kicked, you know, kind of kicked this whole thing off with was, uh, you know, Christine, you know, coming into carnival this year and, and doing uh, what she did, you know, she fucking tore the roof off in the, in the carnival. Dude. I mean, it, it was unreal. You would have thought she'd have been doing this for years, but she's just so good at, 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 at not only just kind of getting into that character, but uh, presenting it out to an audience, you know, she, she, she really, she really stepped it up this year. And, and, and I can't wait to see what happens with her in the future, honestly, like, and that goes for all you guys. Like it, it's good. It's always good to see what's going to happen come time that next year year or whatnot. You know what I mean? I get you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun, but today uh, we get to go and play around with a uh, little, little ghost town stories today. I even wore my ghost town, Streets hat for the special there you go. occasion. Got the ghost town hat. I got the ghost town hat. I got the hollow hat. I got the carnival hat. You know, I'm trying to get all the scare zones because you know that I spend most of my time in the zones. Now, don't get me wrong, mazes are great, but I can't spend all night in the mazes. You know, so like a 45 to a like 85, 90 minute wait for something. Oh, no. You spend more time in mine than you do in a maze. <laughs> all right. Well, this year, especially for Grimoire and, and Bloodline, those being the two newest ones. I mean, oh, good. What's, I would always... Grimoire? What's up? All right. I just I love Grimoire. Grimoire, is, yeah, Grimoire I mean, was amazing. To me, Grimoire was the best maze out of any haunt that I went to this season. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, that that kind of, that what if factor of, we can make a Twilight Zone maze. This is how you do it. And not just presented us that, like, this is how we can do it. Like, Universal, I hope they took notes watching this maze. <laughs> but if they ever do a Twilight Zone property maze, like, that's how you accomplish it right there. And I, I absolutely love that maze. The, 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 the talent was so amazing this year. Uh, rightfully so they won maze of the year. Um, so congratulations on them for that. Oh, congrats to you guys. Yeah. Congrats, congrats, congrats. So it has been uh, a cool minute since I've, I've gotten to talk to you, AJ. So we'll start with you. What's, what's been up. I mean, we, we, we haven't chatted since 2019, you know, the pandemic hit and we kind of were all on our hiatus right there. Most well, of us were. Um, yeah. God, I don't even know what like not not much has 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 changed. Um, aside from some severe weight loss, uh, there you go. That's a good. That's uh, a good start. <laughs> um, coming back after the pandemic was such a trip. I think the twenty twenty one year, uh, I would tell anybody that it felt it felt like 
a, a level in a video game that we hadn't unlocked yet, but we used a mm-hmm. cheat code to get access to. Like, we <laughs> shouldn't have been there, but, like, we just had the game shark code and plugged it in. And now we're like, all right, sick. Um, I am, I have one more year um, helped in me at this event at Scary Farm. Um, a friend of mine, Dustin, came back this season. Him and I started our streets career in Carnival in 2011. Um, and he came back to try to get on the streets in case he didn't make it his first year because he wanted to finish in, in Ghost Town for the 50th. <clears throat> and luckily, he did a good enough job uh, to get back on to or to get on to Ghost Town. Uh, and so him and I, among, among with a, a good handful of people, um, are looking to have the 50th year last year. I know uh, Naaman virus has mentioned it. Chopper has mentioned it. Um, I think Ed Cobb. Yeah, Cobb. Uh, oh, Cobb. Eric and Trey have mentioned it. I'm not sure if they're confirmed. The, 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 the 50th is our last year. It's going to be the, the last year, but there's there's quite a few people that are looking at this this anniversary as, all right, this is a huge milestone. For, mm. for me, it'll be my 15th year working the event. It'll be the 50th anniversary of the event. And it'll be my fifth year in Ghost Town, hopefully, if I get back. Um, and so it's starting the clock. You know, it's like from here, a year from now, I'll, I will be, you know, yeah, I'm retired. But the real test is definitely, it'll be the following summer when I get that email saying, hey, auditions. I'm like, yes, <laughs> I know. you're retired, do you want to come back? <laughs> um, like I, I had mentioned earlier how a lot more taxing it was to work this yeah. season. Um, right. Definitely. It's like, I remember one of the, because I was part of the slider charge rope drop, and I did a few of them, but like halfway through the run, I was running and running and running. I was about to drop, and I felt my knees give out. Hey. And I was like, oh, shit. But I was already falling to a slide. I was able to recover, and when it came up, it was okay. I'm like, all right. And I would think I went to fucking to Michael, and I said, hey, do you take my spot? I can't do this anymore. <laughs> um, it's just, I'm not my knees are shot um i think i have one more year in me i probably shouldn't <laughs> but uh, i also have a hernia um so it's just like this is probably if anything this is the best time to to stop working and like i don't want to overstay my welcome um i don't necessarily want to be the 20 plus veteran the 20 year plus veteran right uh, but if you'd like to more power to you uh, that's just me i'd rather just do the thing. I've already have these really cool accolades. Um, I have this really cool character. Whoever wants to take it from me, fucking take it. Um, but I think I'm I'm good. I've I've kind of come to terms with the, with that fact. I feel like we've been getting a lot of exclusives this season of people telling us that this is their last year, and I'm just like in complete awe and shock over it. You know what I mean? It's who like is, uh, who else has commented about this being there or the next well, year? Well, virus came out publicly and, and talked about it um like you said chopper we've we've talked about there's a there's a handful of people that are, are still kind of on the fence about it but it's sounding more or less like yeah this might be it for them but it's um, the only one out there now all right uh, it's just gonna be me i'm gonna be all a ghost town yeah he's a ghost town. it's just the vincent show now that's all we that's all we show oh, up that's for. all it is that's all i show up. That's vincent, all I show up. Town vincent town streets vincent town streets yeah, <laughs> i like it pizza time streets yeah vts bro there you go <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I'm excited to see, I mean, it, it is always bittersweet when you see a lot of your favorites leave and, and, and move on. However, you, you, you have the realization that, you know, yeah, yeah. Everyone can't do this forever. You know, this is something that is, uh, was very, a gracious opportunity when it, when it arose for the first time. And it's just been an amazing journey since. And now it's time to kind of hang up the hat and just kind of be that guest rather than, yeah. you know be the person out there doing the scary and i kind of just you know I've, I've heard a lot of people talk about that um sinatra retired this year oh um, he was doing <laughs> yeah yeah he he retired this year you know death retired this year i mean he's building his family and you know yeah. kudos Small. to him yeah <laughs> yeah his army you know his little army but you know kudos to him i mean he he had an amazing career out there and cool. and and gave it his all every single night and and the, the 2022 the, is ghost town monster of the year right there yeah so congratulations to him on that um but just to see kind of 
his commitment to the event too. Uh, he was coming long distances every single weekend to come out and scare for knots and, and, and he gave it his all. And, and, and I feel like now is for him. Now he's got his family going, he's got his business going like good for him, you know, like for his life too. I know. And like, yeah, it's just good now that I'm glad he won because I feel like he should have gotten that a while ago. Right. Um, and now it's just kind of like, that's the book closed. Yeah. That's, that's the cherry on top to a, to an illustrious career. Absolutely. Yeah. My first year I got to work with Mike in quarantine in 2008. That's cool. He was the coolest guy. And I remember I offered him a cigarette and he politely said no. <laughs> and then I found out he was straight edge. I was like, Oh, <laughs> you're like, Hey bro, my bad. It was a, it was a gesture. And yeah, my bad. You just wanted to be polite. No, I don't yeah. know. He goes, what here? Uh, but he, in 2008, um, I got to work with him. 2009, he went to Boardwalk. Uh, and then 2011, I got to work with him on the Boardwalk for about two or three years. And then um, he went to Ghost Town, and I went on my adventure around the park and eventually came back. The year I came back, he I don't think he was working. No, he was working. Uh, the second year, he, he took the year off, I think. And then that's the year I won Monster. And then he came back, and I got to really, really... Really, because when he when he came back, he was like, "Oh, hey, it's AJ, Monster of the Year, 2019 Monster." Like, no, like, fuck, like he's like yeah. a big brother in in this haunt community. Yeah, uh, big brother Mike or Uncle Mike, depending on how old you are. Um, <laughs> but he always made me want to really try to be a little more terrifying because the way he's able to do that with it's so subtle when you think about it. If mm-hmm. you look at his character, how it just like like simple not i don't want to like no 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 not disrespectfully but like simple yeah it's just this really rad face paint and then this black suit with like a skeleton yeah. cape. that's it but the way he's able to move around with it i really feel like because it's been said before when you put your costume on you become something different when he slips into that death character he becomes something different and then he like i'll never forget this uh my first year i was scaring over by the windmill and I was thinking, like, all right, I'm going to go up to Fog. And I see him passing me, going towards Birdcage. And I change, like, oh, I want to go, I, I'm going to go to Market. And I turn to Market, and I'm like, ah, you know what, fuck, I'm going to go to Market. I'm going to go to f- up Fog. And I turn to go back up Fog, and Mike's just, like, right behind me, sp- like, staring into my eye and pointing at his eye. Like, face to face, I'm like, shit. <laughs> and he's like, hey, is this contact still in? And I'm like, yeah, it's there. He's like, oh, fuck yeah. And then just twirls away and leaves. <laughs> fuck. Uh, and his whole, his bit, his, like, he definitely didn't, well, he's, he's retired, so I can probably talk about this. Um, he, he would climb on things and yeah. would be walking through, what was it, like, um, uh, Indian Trail. Or, um, I forget what to call that shit. Uh, Kmart. Uh, Kmart. No, no, no. Uh, market, 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 market. Yeah, okay. and I would look up at the the ruins, and he'd be just, just like standing there, menacingly perched on top like a gargoyle. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck, Mike? <laughs> 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 he like in, in the ghost town group, he posted like, or even at the um, at the banquet, he um, we had trouble with audio. We we Facetimed him, yeah, uh, with audio. Um, when he won monster, and he just grabbed a pen and paper and put break rules. Um, and then he elaborated it on uh, the next day saying like, push boundaries, you know, make sure to go as far as you can go and try to go a little farther. And that whole aspect that not only kind of gives people more of a show, but it makes you kind of love the job a little bit more because if you confine yourself into this very small square of like what you can and can't do, then you'll get bored with the petition. Yeah. You know? and yeah. so, like key rule what was said to me was if you can't scare them entertain them if you can't entertain them entertain yourself and mike took that and he ran with it so definitely one of my top favorite monsters top favorite dudes and he was well deserved and so I'm, I'm glad he's able to have that award and show it to his new kids <laughs> yeah right like this is what your dad did look, that. look at that Look at that. What the fuck is that? Fucking feed me. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Oh man. Now death is gonna be missed. It was a good one, but you know, it's it's going into that 50th, man. It's 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 trying to see 
who's going to come back, you know, who's going to be on the streets like one last time for most people, you know, and, and, and what's going to, what's going to be of that season, you know, I mean, it's one word chaotic. Kind of scary. It's shaping up to be like the Super Bowl or like the WrestleMania of time. Like, is, especially in Ghost Town. I think Ghost Town is poised for, for big things next year. I think we, we got a, not, a lot of new talent this year from other areas of the park. And I think that, you know, that was, that was definitely planned to bring them over this year as opposed yeah. to next year. And uh, I, don't really? know, I, I think big, big thing, yeah, big thing, big things coming to Ghost Town. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be, I think it's going to be scary because I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to make that jump from another zone to Ghost Town for the 50th because it's uh-huh. Ghost Town's where it started. But then thinking about it, it's like, there's a lot of people also talking about, hey, you know, I want to come back. You know, yeah. I want to go to Ghost Town. It's the one I didn't do. It's the 50th anniversary. So it's like, how much room? are we going to have How that's many the scary thing about it is who's going to make it out in out of those auditions alive and and who's going to get the t- I mean, like Texas Chainsaw Master thing yeah uh, it's like who's going to be on the chopping block or not yeah exactly <laughs> yeah you know it's like it, it's it's nuts to think that with so many people talking about wanting to come back of like who's going to be able to come back that we've seen in the last couple of years though that have continued to keep Ghost Town the way it, Ghost Town has always been I, I mean, I feel like there's definitely some stapled characters that are going to be, you know, for sure, come in, do your audition, nail your audition. You, your success rate is going to be probably a little higher than someone from like Goring that wants to be like, hey, I want to try for, uh, I want to try for uh, um, a townsfolk for, for Ghost Town. If you're going up against someone like Morty or someone like Ed, like who has been there for a minute and knows the streets and knows how to do it and knows how to work their character. Mm, Good luck. <laughs> yeah. No, like, but best I can offer you. Yeah, but I'm I could I can very well be completely wrong. Someone from like Goring or Forsaken or fucking you know any other zone can show up and wow people. They can probably boot me like, all right, you know, AJ, you're you're going to Bloodline. <laughs> I was like, okay. I was sick. gonna make the joke about Vincent going back to Bloodline because you know special ops, and I was like, Vincent, there you go. It'd be like coming you know, back. I, there were a couple of moments this year where I thought I was gonna have to make the make the journey back just for a night or two, and <laughs> didn't happen. But you're like, hey, that's I was good, thinking right? about it. I was <laughs> thinking about it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this year was easily probably one of the most special years I would say for a haunt uh, in a long time across the board. I mean, it just felt like. Everybody was was in, in there. The the energy was on a different level than it, what it was in 2021. Um, and it felt like this was like the actual for real comeback year. Um, last year was kind of like the, the test to see how they can make this work in a post pandemic world. What was the biggest challenge for both of you coming into this year now with with kind of like, OK, things are a little bit more loose, you know, but uh, what, what's what's always running through your head as far as as that goes? <laughs> Making sure the character stays fun for me. Yeah. Like um, trying to do different things. I, I had my mask done uh, by Jesse Escalante. And he, yeah, you did. <laughs> um, he's the rat uh, in Ghost Town. If you don't know who he is. And if you need a mask done, hit him up or hit Vincent up. Because Vincent works with I got a, I got a funny story with him. The first night we came, or that the first weekend we came, we were sitting on the bench. And he came up to him, he goes, he goes, why don't you guys got press? I'm like, I don't know. Knott's just probably doesn't think we're ready yet. I don't know. Um, but I'm not judging them. I'm like, I, I'm still here, am I? He goes, you guys are fucking famous, bro. You got press for Horror Nights. I'm like, that doesn't mean anything. That means that I just <laughs> been working very hard for five years since I started this channel to get it, and I finally no, got the, it. The and, best I mean, part of all that is I can, because his mask, the way he makes his mask, he sculpts it. It makes him look like he's so fucking over everything. <laughs> Like he's so annoyed. Like he's just like, oh. yeah. So he brought, like hearing him, hearing what he said, and imagining his his mask. His face. Like, <laughs> he's like, "You guys got fucking press for horror nights." I'm like, "He goes, you guys are fucking famous." I'm like, "We're not famous." Hey man, <laughs> you got the horror nights press. I think I think you're was, up there. If you get, I, if you get I would, horror nights press, you can, get, you can get scary farm press. I I'm working on it. It's a, I'm I'm in no rush. Uh, it, it took me five years to get to Horror Nights, and I was very thankful for the opportunity. If I were to never get it again, I uh, I would not be salty or anything one bit because the fact that they gave this kid, who has been dreaming of things like this for a long time, the opportunity just one year, uh, was enough for me, and uh, I'm very grateful for that. And 
very grateful for all the things that uh, opportunities and whatnot that were presented to us this year. So awesome. Uh, Humbled. Yeah, no, I, I, I love doing this. I love, I love networking with people. I love meeting new people. I love to, you know, check out new things and, and build relationships with, with, you know, companies and stuff. So we can keep coming back and supporting them as, as they've supported us in the, in, in the last couple of years. So it, it's been awesome. And, and, and through the, the network of people that we've met, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it opens, it opens more doors and, you know, it, doing these podcasts and stuff. I know, I know higher ups probably watch these podcasts um, in the sense of, of <laughs> making sure no one's telling secrets. Hey, Josh, I thought, hey, Josh, I <laughs> yeah. Right. But, it is- uh, I, for those who've been watching the podcast for a while, they the, the our our mission statement for these podcasts was to never reveal or capture or try to get any uh, you know industry secrets or or what's coming in the next year. Our our focus for the podcast was to um, reminisce about the the past season, what's looking forward for your guys' future, and just to talk about the person behind the character. You know, that's always been our goal and, and our and our and our practice for this. And I feel like we've, we've done a pretty decent job trying to keep that accomplished. And I feel like we still continue. I've never to felt things. any type of like alter alternative, like need or um, any type of feeling where it's just like, you guys are trying to get something else. Oh yeah. yeah. I just, I, I, I'm the, I, I, in the end of the day, after all doing this, yeah, you know, you get, you get all these, you know, we press and stuff, but it's like, I'm still a fan. You know, I, I still want to be, I, that's why I get mad every single year. Like not, nothing against this group. Oh, kitty. Is that a kitty? That's that's the viewership. That's why this is gonna go viral. Right. <laughs> but um, no, I I I just never look at the kitty. Look at look at look at. Um, uh, I've just I've I've never like I I just I, yeah. HN nightmares every year puts out their speculation list, and usually it's somewhat correct. Um, mm. and it kind of makes me mad a little bit, only in the sense of I missed the the whole excitement of an announcement and no one spoiling anything. Um, and I feel like with, with the use of technology that we have today, it's just, it's, there's nothing that can really be kept secretive anymore. Like yeah. someone's going to leak it. Someone's going to, and it's just like, I just miss the days where like technology wasn't as much, it was there, but it wasn't like where it is today with like having all these social media platforms and everything. And I wish that, uh, we can go back to trying to make it as secretive and fun again. Cause like, you know, when you I, get something announced, you're like a kid, especially when like they announced bloodline grimoire, I was a kid. I was like, Oh, this is going to be great. Mm-hmm. It was definitely a, a point where like it's the internet. The internet yes. is what happened, and I don't, uh, I don't understand how someone can can hear like, oh, this is what they're gonna do. Fuck, I'm gonna tell everyone. Like, how? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't make sense to me. It's just like no. It's just like it's like finding out what you're getting for Christmas before Christmas. Yeah. Um, but I, there was a point during I at some point within the last 10 years where it was just the announcement was the announcement and you found out what was going on then and there. Yep. Um, and I kind of miss the announcement event. Oh, dude, yeah. I miss that so much. The, the pass holder announcement. Yeah. yeah. Like how that they, was, they that was so much fun. Right. It was like the, the, the theatricality that like went mm-hmm. into just, just that event. Like that yeah. got you hyped. So hyped for the season. It was a full on presentation, you know, I mean, you got all the announcements in one day. It was all the scare zones returning, all the returning mazes and then whatever was new that year, shows, mazes, scare zones, whatever. It was, it came complete with like a, like a video package and like presentation on the stage of like how they announced the hollow. Um, they did the whole video thing and then they had all the characters out on yeah. stage. This is what they're going to look Monsters like. Rest the stage and so sick. And then now they're just kind of doing like, social media and like you get the same video package but you just watch it on your phone which yeah. kind of sucks like if they're doing if they did that because you know the pandemic i'm like we got boosters now um it was like oh, comic-con happened and they filled up all h i'm pretty sure we yeah. can fill up <laughs> that theater if yeah. comic-con came back we can do a live yeah you know. yeah especially because like there's nothing like being in a room like that of just feeling that excitement of, of everyone else just there kind of just like yeah well because everyone, everyone else there is just like they're true haunt fans they love yeah. the event and they're there for the event mm-hmm. yeah and it's just one of those things where you just feel that energy and you just like oh dude i'm excited it's like watching freaking infinity war for the first time again <laughs> the fan service yeah <laughs> yeah that's exactly like i remember watching infinity war just and then like the ending happened i'm like this is not how it's ending and then end game came out and i was like this is just the best movie this is like you're never going to replace this cinema experience for me ever again Give me one quick minute. I'm going to go take a tinkle right back. Okay. 
I'll talk to I'll talk to Vincent while you're gone. Yeah, Vincent, we'll talk, do you want me to to circle back and answer your uh, your question about? Yes. So what was what was it for you this year? I mean, I mean, so, now that you so can... for me, the hardest part was actually like kind of the the opposite of what you were saying of, of how it felt to be back this year. I felt like this year was a really strange year, um, only because I think I think that there were a lot of changes on like the corporate level for Knox. Yeah. Um, obviously there, there was the chaperone policy. Um, but I like this year was just, it was a little, it was different. Like it, it felt like the energy of the, of like the guests and the crowd wasn't as high this year. And I, right. I don't know why, but I mean, like, so for me, it was like working off of those guests and being like, Hey, like, come on, get into this thing. Cause there were, there were just some nights where like, yeah, the guests would would be over it by like nine or ten o'clock, and that that turn would happen, and it'd be like, ah, this is an early turn. You're not supposed to do this till like midnight. <laughs> but yeah, I noticed that like opening weekend, it was like it was really, it was okay. So like, and this is how I've been explaining it best to the people that I that I've been talking to this about. But like, I look at it as as from a you know from what 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 I do when I'm at the parks, right? You know, as far as filming and, and photography goes, you know. I would say as far as maze walkthroughs go when filming those was awesome because there was not a lot of people and it didn't feel like it was being kind of like just conga lined in. So I felt that it was a good opportunity to, for me to get details that I normally cannot get when I'm walking through pretty much in a conga line fort, uh, you oh, know, formation of, you know, so like it, you, you it, get it to was, see more of like what goes in behind the build. Yeah. Like you get to yeah. appreciate the, just the atmosphere more. Yeah, we don't 100%. don't go in and really fully appreciate exactly what build does. Yeah, like we do because we under, we we know of build. We know of the carpenters and painters and you know the electricians, all everyone in AV, what they put into it. But I think the average guest really doesn't give a shit. Well, not give a shit, but no. pay. So well, yeah, they don't know. <laughs> it, for me, it's like you know having the the theater background. I know what it takes to go and launch a production. You know, how much work and weeks and weeks of work that goes into it, you know, doing rehearsals, then doing final dress rehearsals, then making sure tech is where it needs to be, making sure the set design looks good, making sure the props are there. You know, like there's a lot of like there's like in, in Hans case, it's months of work. But like if you were looking at like a standard high school thing, it's like usually about a month, month and a half of work that goes into that opening night. Uh, and and you want to make sure everything is, is working properly that opening night and that opening weekend for it to be the best that it absolutely can be. Um, and so like a, lot, a lot of people don't know that the build, like work, work for next year's haunt stops or starts like the day after haunt ends. Yeah. So sometimes even before, like yeah. it's, it's a constant machine at this point. Well, and not to mention the people, uh, and this is, this is just from a couple of people that I've talked to who work at the park year round. Um, I mean, after haunt ends, especially this year, it ended on a, what was it on a Monday? Yeah. That night and that next day, you got to start tearing down because you only have so many weeks until the next event For starts. Sure. Up so funny story when I when I got back from my my little adventure on Halloween, uh, by the time I finally got back to Knotts, um, it was five in the morning and they were already taking stuff down. Oh from, yeah, for you know they had started tear down. They come yeah, in at midnight. They clock yeah. in. At yeah, yeah. No, they they got to especially origins that's that's their first plan of attack right there because they got to turn that, that into like, santa's village santa meet and greet yeah so it's like you know you got to immediately strip all that stuff out of the out of that building just in the at least in the inside portion and get it all nice and decorated for christmas time which you know i mean i'm hearing people working 14 to 16 hour shifts and and kudos to them because it's like oh, that I is fully i don't fully understand none of us fully understand no one fully understands what goes through a build team members yeah it's it's chaos it's absolutely. I mean, I'm I'm talking with um, I, you know, I've been talking with Glow every single week just to see how she is mentally because it's like, it, it's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a process and it's a hurricane that you go through. Yeah, yeah. and, and I it, only know like from an outsider perspective, I don't exactly know the chaos that is like Glow Clayton. I know that they they do paint. Um, they're they have like, and it's like they have to wait for carpentry to finish. If yeah. Carpentry paints behind so then there's that whole chaos um yeah. and i think once paint's done then props comes in and then like lighting comes in and then god i love this event so fucking much <laughs> no there's 
there's just so much that go goes into it that um you know it's something that i love talking i'm a huge fan of behind the scenes so when they released the behind the fog tour this year it was honestly a dream come true for me because you know i love and especially going in some of the mazes at dark ride i got to go through dark ride behind the scenes with lights on one last time before they took it away and that was that was just you know it was cool to see so many details and whatnot that you don't see when the actual show is running Mm -hmm. that like because it's either too dark or like you know it's a minor detail that you got to like really focus on and so after taking that tour i started focusing on so many details that i never had seen in mazes before and it was just it was crazy because i was like man the amount of like detail that goes into this not a lot of people know they they walk right past these these eggs and whatnot every single day but only a true haunt fan would understand some of these easter eggs you know what i mean so it's crazy it's crazy man so Ghost Town 2022. Now let's talk about, uh, this was a different year for you guys as far as audition process goes this year. Uh, we're not going to get too much into detail as to what you guys had to do, but I just want to know more on the, on the line of how you guys felt personally going into this one. Everyone had a, a fair chance, a fair audition this year. What was the nerves for you guys going into something like this again? Um, I don't know, Vincent? <laughs> yeah, uh, so for me, I was very anxious. Um, I think that that no matter what, anytime I audition, um, I get anxious. We, you know, I think that if, if you don't get anxious, you're just, you're diff- you're built different. Yeah. Um, I know that, that for me, it's, I, I know how to, how to scare. Obviously I've, I've been on ghost town for, you know, this was my, my third year in ghost town. Um, so I, I know what to do on the streets. Um, but going into it, you know, there's always, it's always, there's always that thought that just kind of creeps in the back of your mind where it's like, Oh, am I still good enough? Um, yeah. so like it, just that, that nervousness and that, that anxiety, like that was definitely stressful, but I mean, once, once you got literally, once I got in there, um, I like feel like I kind of just kind of went on autopilot and I just like, all right, this is what I have to do. I'm just going to go in there. I did it. I killed it. And obviously I made it back to ghost town for, you know, for this year. So I think it, it's just once, once I got over that initial, like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It was like smooth sailing from there. Hundred percent, and like yep. Vincent's right. Um, I don't think I've ever met anybody that's been like, "Oh, I got this," you know. Before <laughs> uh, there is a varying level of butterflies and nervousness and, and anxiousness. Yeah, um, especially after this past audition, it was so different. It was so. We had to wait like two, two, three weeks before we found out. <laughs> wow! After the auditions, I didn't run into anybody that didn't say like, "I think I, I, I think I bombed it." Um, because I think it's 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 done in such a way where it's just like it's so fast. Yeah. And boom, 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 boom. All right, thank you. We'll you know reach out to you via email in two weeks. Enjoy the rest of your day. See ya. Uh, and you're just you're left there with two weeks, and 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 you're anticipating. The, um, it was a call. Yeah. Uh, that we were waiting on, and right. you were going to get a call regardless. You just didn't know what this call was going to be about. Um, yeah, you didn't know if it was going to be a. a you didn't get it or you did get it called. It's like you, okay. Like you don't know if you're going back to your same zone. You might be getting moved to a different zone. You might be getting moved to a maze. Yeah. You just, you knew you were getting a call. You just didn't know what. And so it's just that anticipation for me. I think the worst part is afterwards. Yeah. It, because like I, there's a bunch of people out that work this event that have done auditions in general and each audition is going to be different. Um, and so it's like, once you've done one, you know what they're looking for. You already have it, obviously, because you've been doing this for X amount of years. So it's like, all right, I know what to do. You go in and you do it. And still, even then, you still have this very just like slight, like, um, what if though? Like, yeah, I'll well, put I'm, it I'm up there. for you real quick, because it was different. It was, I definitely felt that this year, because last year I had, I had introduced a new character. So this year coming into this audition, I had to re-audition that character. And, you know, from all everyone I, I had talked to last year, they loved it. They thought it was really cool. They liked what I did. But like I said, like this year, it was that creeping thought of, oh, are they going to let me do this again? Because yeah. I really hope that they do. Because if they don't, then I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> so like, that phone call uh, and waiting for it of, hey, you were offered this role. It was like, is it going to be the role that like I yeah. create? Or is it going to be a different one? Or what's happening here? Yeah lucky enough i don't know like because a lot of people kind of got like that very vague like wait so what does that mean 
Ty yeah. Paul. They called me and said, like, we want to offer you the role of the barber. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I accept. Um, but, like, a lot of people probably got these really weird, like, character names because it's not necessarily, like, it's what's on the sheet that they're given. And it was done by, um, I forget who did it this year, but they were doing callbacks. It was a um, department that isn't normally associated with Haunt. So they were kind of just kind of getting up to speed with how we do things as they were doing them. Um, yeah. And so I guess that was just weird, but like it, it's scary. <laughs> it's the one thing in the 14 years that I've been working this event, I hate auditioning. I hate, <laughs> like, I know I'll be able to do it in, in like within maybe an hour before and I'll be a, a nervous wreck anxious and I'll have like, like I've, I've talked to Totem about it and he'll like, He'll like grab me, shake me. He's like, "Stop it! You've done this before. You can do it again." I'm like, "I know, but what if?" And he's like, "Yeah, Garrett, what if?" He's like, "No, what ifs?" Like, I'll still be a wreck. Um, but it's 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 there's there's definitely a, a sense of like just accomplishment. You're yes. like uh, you're like the watcher, and what if we're gonna ponder the question? What <laughs> if? do that for two to three hours? But um, <laughs> like, fine. Once it's all said and done, and you you do your processing, you're like, "All right, cool." Like, holy crap. Then you start stress stressing about things like my costume. Is this going to be approved? Um, and usually it's like there's there's parameters that they give us for Ghost Town to, to go through. And we're, we're pretty good on following that. So it's just, it's stressful. But it's so much fun. It's so much worth it. It's so oh, worth man. It. Another year. I mean, Vincent, for you, I mean, it, 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 you know, you, you talk about the mailman character. Which I really love a lot, you know. It's, 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 thank you, thank you. It's something that's <laughs> unique, something that uh, when you when you initially told me about an idea about it, you know, uh, very little idea that you had when you first were thinking about it. I was like, yeah, dude, that's I, think, I think you were like the second or third person that had like heard the. Yeah, he like told me that I don't want to do this next year. Right at right after the podcast, we filmed in 2019. He goes, okay, so this is what I'm doing, and I was like. Okay, that's cool. And then 2020 <laughs> happened. I'm like, I, you're not doing it this year. <laughs> no. I was oh, like, you're not doing it this year. I was like, you you can go to Taste of Halloween and pretend to, to try it out and see if it works. <laughs> but uh, the mock run, you know, trial run. Yeah, but uh, no, I I love it. I mean, and the the fact of like you know the the letters and whatnot. I mean, those are so much fun. I mean, I really like the letters so much. We've gotten a few in the past, and some of them have been uh, custom to us, which was really cool. Um, and then just kind of telling an essential storyline to the ones that you do trust to give, um, it, it really expands that ex expanded storyline that's already continuously expanding every single year, you know? So that's Sorry, a lot so of fun. When's mo uh, most creative? Yes. Most creative. 2021. Mm -hmm. Most and creative. Dustin got it this year. Yep. There you go. Oh man, uh, I loved especially the nights that I would go and uh, just watching you do your thing in Kmart Alley. Um, the shenanigans that that were there, mixed with the blend of scares, was just a, a, a great use of of the space. Uh, as far as people not really be able to see you in certain areas, and you kind of getting able to to shout things to get them to look one way, and then you come out a different way to scare the hell out of them. I mean, that's been something that I, I look forward to every single year watching you uh because we got to see you uh you know do some new things with 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 sliding now um that we didn't get to see in 2019 but we saw last year and this year uh what's been obviously for you and for anybody that goes into this, this could be another question for you too aj what's always the, the biggest struggle every year of how can i make a, a, a an improvement on this character what can i do to constantly because i know you guys are constantly thinking of things especially throughout the run and whatnot yeah so I think, I think for me, um, that was really like something that I, I looked at this year as, as like a learning year and, an, and, an, and an expansion year, um, because there were a lot of, there were a lot of monsters who I didn't necessarily scare with my first two years in ghost town, but this year I kind of like, I did like AJ, AJ was definitely one of them where like him and I have been in ghost town for the past, you know, I've been, I've been with him for the past couple of years, hadn't really scared with him here and there. Yes. But like. I feel like this year was where it was like, oh, dude, we're like, we make a really good team together. <laughs> Actually, um, dude, holy shit. <laughs> but like, uh, yeah, I, so I, I think this year was just kind of like, it, it was just an expansion year. And like, even, even scaring in Kmart, like, that's not something that I had done the past two years. And 
I think that, you know, each, each night is, is obviously it's a different night. So you're going to have to do different things and you have to find out what works from, from night to night. Um, but I, I think really just, you know, I, I talked myself into a circle that I don't, I completely lost my train of thought. I think, <laughs> I, think I know what you're talking about. Um, for me, just to kind of pick it back on Vincent's start there. Um, <laughs> my start. The whole like adapting to each night um, and adapting to each crowd because right. you're not going to have the same guest twice. Well, no, that's not true. We're not, not the, the same, same guest experience. experience. <laughs> not the same guest experience, exactly. <laughs> um, and so it's like, for me, um, I mentioned Jesse had made me uh, a new mask this season and the way he did it, there's like this carve out in my left cheek. And so I would get fucking gross and just dig into my cheek and just start screaming or the, the mold or the mask is like really flat. I'm like, it takes up my face, but like, it's just on my face. So I'm yeah. able to pull on the skin and get under and make it look like I'm trying to tear my own face off, you know, getting <laughs> it's fucking neat, you know, just trying to either. Okay. Last night I got it to this, I got it to here. Let me see how far I can get it to there and what I can do to get there. Uh, and then <laughs> times there's just, of course, there's going to be shitty guests. You know, there's going to be bummers um, that for they make one more than us, that make more money than us. They make. <laughs> I hope so. You only, you only, we only work here for six weeks. <laughs> Another story for, for later, but <laughs> um, you got to pick up on the vibe, and so you got to make it fun for yourself. And this is also one of those things where it's just it kind of you adapt your character. Um, what would your character do to make? To make this fun, I would you to have fun as this character. You, you hear the dog? In the, I'm sorry. Do you hear the dog in the background? I'm sorry. Give me the dog. The dog's like sleeping dog and dreams. having dog. Hey, having dog dreams. Hey. Having dog dreams. Having dog nightmares. You okay? <laughs> He's okay. I gotta calm him down. Think of a I'm sorry. <laughs> I know that that threw me off guard. He just started barking and I was in his sleep. I'm like, what's wrong, buddy? Uh. <laughs> Yeah, no, AJ, like what, what, like what you were saying, um, just every night you like, you, you do want to kind of push that boundary and see like, Hey, how can, how, how far can I go with this new thing that I'm trying and does it work? Yeah. And yeah. Then, every single night. I mean, it, it, it's something too, with your character too, AJ, as the barber. Um, I, I remember when we first talked about in 2019 of, of kind of the whole backstory of, of that and whatnot. And, and to kind of, really uh with the new mask this year kind of really expand on that kind of why the barber does what he does and kind of integrate that kind of joker aspect to it you yeah. know what i mean because yeah he's no longer present <laughs> yeah he's just not there he's just just it's just a body and that's it he's so full of secrets they're now controlling him yeah oh so, man i i then i mean uh, Going into that, yeah, I mean, especially you coming out and saying that, that next year is going to be your your last year. Like, what's the biggest thing you you, you probably you always want to go out with the bang? You want to go out with something that people will remember for a while. I still remember a lot of things from 2019 that went down that were really kind of iconic moments and whatnot uh, of yeah. of certain characters getting written off or whatnot. But what what was what what would be like kind of your biggest grand finale for you for yourself? What do you have something planned, or is it something that we're going to have to just wait till next year to see, or? I mean, I billion I've ideas. Never really thought of it. Like the only idea I had was uh, she will finally, finally getting me after I, I killed her. I think in 2019. Yeah, uh, she's died a few times, but I think last this past season was the definitive one um, because I believe they have they have more. They have, they have their own idea. They have different ideas for uh, next season, and so um, and another idea was to have death just take me away finally. But you know, Mike's. Mike's done. Um, I mean, hey, he could come back as a guest and just drag you off. <laughs> just sock me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> just done. <laughs> over with. Um, he, killed you. he killed your friend with one punch. <laughs> I um, and then the other one was was the mayor because uh, he was the mayor. Mayor Toad was the original man that took out Judas's uh, tongue. Right. Uh, so everyone's gone. <laughs> um, so I don't really have much. I'll, I'll probably figure something out. I don't want. 
I'm not too big on theatrics, really. Like, I well, mean, I, what, I'll do, what we'll do is we'll put you in. A, we'll bring a box big enough for you, and then we'll just put you in the box, and I'll just go. I'll deliver it somewhere. Just I'll send it off. Send to boardwalk. <laughs> send to boardwalk. <laughs> fragile on inside tie me up at the at the windmill and like spread my legs apart we need, a, we need <laughs> to have not order a brand new uh rubber made that they take around the park to get the trash and just we'll, we, before up. they even use it we'll just dump you in that and we'll just put you in the middle of carnival <laughs> one of the trash boats <laughs> backstage yeah <laughs> just roll you in the middle of a scare zone and then i don't know we'll just pop up and be like the hell am i <laughs> No, uh, it'd be funny. It'd be funny if we do it. We do that. Take you to Carnival, and you pop out, and the multiverse version of your Carnival self is staring you in the face. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it'd be like freaking Judas in the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> multi farm, <laughs> multi farm. Yep, right. the multi farm. Um, I mean, you know, all those, all all those, I wouldn't mind. All those are great ideas. Um, I think maybe, maybe I might do something because it's like, it is the end. Um, I need it to be the end. <laughs> no, it's gotta be a build up though. I mean, from start yeah. from the first day to like the last day, it's gotta be like this if is I what can, this like, is a good build up to. Somehow find a way to unite all because next year will be my fifth year to all five years into this one epic uh character, which is one unnecessary, but two very cool. Yeah. Um <laughs> uh, I'd love to do it, so I'll, I'll probably figure it out. Think of a little something here, and you know, maybe I'll maybe. AJ, I'll, have you know. been around the world? Allegedly. Oh no, no, not not unofficial. Oh no, okay. Um, <laughs> no, there's um, I, like aside from from Forsaken and and Goring, like yeah. did you do Fiesta and because I know you were in camp and Boardwalk and obviously Ghost Town. Four for five years, CS for two, and then next year will hopefully be my fifth year in Ghost Town. Nice. What's been your favorite? To, I mean, everyone has to have a, a certain amount of good memories working. What's been some of your favorites working on each zone going into your final year? Um, Boardwalk had me meeting all my friends I have now. Um, we were, and it, Boardwalk was a whole different machine. Um, we were a lot grosser. We were just, we were carnies. We looked like psychopaths with masks on, which was kind of rad. Um, we definitely had more room to mess around. Um, we had a little bit more rope to hang ourselves, but we never got too close. Um, just being able to be a jerk, being able to get paid to be a complete ass to somebody or, you know, entertain someone, you're really entertaining as a clown and you have that option to be scary. Yeah. Uh, but first, you know, you have a variety of different avenues you can go. Um, do I want to be scary? Do I want to be funny? Do I want to be comical? Do I want to be, you know, just weird? Do I want to look into a trash can and tell someone I see something and get them there and then just, you know, slam your hands on the trash can? Um, definitely boardwalk because again, I met like all my friends, Dustin for one, um, who came back this year, one of my best dudes. Uh, but 2019, um, not to say that my clown scrambles wasn't, isn't, you know, a part of this like huge heart I have for haunt, but I never felt more comfortable in a character than my 2019 year when I was Judas, second year Judas. First year was kind of like, all right, I wasn't really prepared. I had got a mask that gave me just constant headaches throughout the night. Um, I had a friend of mine help me with my costume through wardrobe and just did what I did. You know, I, I remember talking to Anthony Lemus because uh, we both made it to Ghost on the same year. And the first two nights were so weird on ghost town i'm not sure if this happened to you vincent but like it felt like the train was already running the first night and we had to run to catch up or we were just going to walk behind um because everyone everyone knew their shit everyone was on it they had their characters they knew what their characters did they knew how to scare in their character they were a, a, a citizen of, of ghost town of calico um so first year was definitely getting used to that uh but the second year 2019 was the biggest year of this whole work in this event because I got to, you know, get really weird with this character and win Monster of the Year, which is something I never thought I'd be able to do on the streets, um, and especially in Ghost of all places. Uh, because I, I I did five years in Boardwalk, I think like oh you know some at some point I'll I'll, I'll did it I'll do it and um, I got two most dedicated awards, so that's kind of cool. But uh, to be able to say I did that in in, in Ghost Town 
was fucking rad. Because to be honest with you, for all intent and purposes, I shouldn't have worked this event. I only showed up to the hiring uh, because my friend asked me to drop off some food for him and his buddy. They were going to work. I just decided to hang out with them a little bit. Met some other veterans. Uh, met Jabberjaw, Bear, uh, you know, all these other who, who aren't working the event anymore. Um, and they started giving me a haunt name. And so I felt threatened. <laughs> I was like, hey, if I just dip, are they going to like hate me? And my friend Frank was like, yeah, just work the event. I'm like, all right, let's see what it's, what it's like. And then fucking 14 years later. There you are. Damn, on man. Ghost Town. On Ghost Town. On so, Ghost Town, man. That's what a journey that is to, to 14 years later going on the 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 lucky uh the 15 to kind of hopefully wrap it up man i mean that's a good that's a good that's a good way to end it right there 15 years it's a good number <laughs> I, I like it 15 years of fears man that's 15 years of fears 15, 15 years, years of fears yep <laughs> <laughs> no, that was. I mean, you know, that's that's the thing that I I, I absolutely like. You said though, like, it, it's one of those things where it's um, it's just a vibe to be there. You know, it's like it's it's everyone brings something to the table that you can bounce off energy from and and whatnot. And and I think that's what that's what's continued to make this event better and better each year is the fact that there are people that that know the reputation of this, of this haunt and, and where it's, it's been the last now going on 50 years and, and how much impact it has impacted so many people, both guests and, and, and people that have worked there, whether you were behind the scenes uh, on the streets in the mazes, like wherever you work, like it, this has impacted so many people and, and to see the growth and, and the, uh, the demand of people wanting to come in and, and, and give it their all and, and, and cement their, their legacy part in part of this haunt, you know, and, and, and for another 50 years to come, it, it's just, it's incredible. And I, I'm just so happy that, uh, we got into the knots game when we did, I've always been a fan of the event and, and to, to really start to get into it and, and love it for what it was, you know, was just the absolute, like uh, 2019 for me, is always a memorable year for, for scary farm, but this year and last year have always been great to us too. I mean, you know, I have to say though, Sorry, I have to say this to you two, but a uh, big congratulations to Goring 20s this year. Um, that was one of my zones that I really enjoyed to go through this year. Um, they did a phenomenal job. But, you know, across the board, you guys, I mean, there was something for I, I always found someone or some people that I just enjoyed watching, no matter what zone it was in. You know, I mean, there's I have my favorites that I like to go out and watch. And then some new people were surprisingly really good this year, too. Yeah, for sure. Goring is definitely. Um has picked up the ball and ran with it you know oh yeah no yeah, they, they, even even last year i think uh 2021 they were they came in second for for golden haunt um mm-hmm. they really have you know took took their new zone <laughs> in stride and just ran with it yeah they like 2021 was like let's figure everything out let's get to know the story mm-hmm. then 2022 was like hey we're gonna make this zone our bitch this year <laughs> hey we're gonna party all night, every night, and there's nothing you can do to stop us. Nothing you can do. Every night. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop us, man, because that's all it was. I mean, I and I think that was how it was for majority of the zones. There was a lot of times I'd walk through Ghost Town and just, just the, the stuff that I would hear from some monsters would just make me fucking laugh. Who could forget Chopper telling people that there's a stairway in the middle of Fog Alley? Because it had me even rethinking a lot of things, and I've been up and down that alley thousands of times. We're <laughs> telling people like, "Hold on, there's a wall there. Wait." <laughs> yeah, like it's just hilarious. It's like it's not even. Uh, Chopper is just another. Uh, uh, he's another seed from. Like from... my fat guy in overcoat. <laughs> yep. Something I may have or may have not yelled at someone. <laughs> hey man, it's, you know. It's it's can't go wrong with it. It's really cool. Um, I'm. I mean, cause shout out to Goring. They have a lot of heavy hitters. Uh, Justin Buds, Sinatra, Clayton, fucking Rachel. Um, and it's it's really cool. It's really rad. Um, they have this really rad story to go to go off with. This whole like yeah. you know, all this thing, like devil's elixir shit, like don't drink it. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, <laughs> you know, I I mean what Cool. I wish Calico had a band that performed every night. <laughs> you know, maybe 
Fucking hey. old fashioned. Okay. I'd love for like an old fashioned sour Mexican, grapes or anything. <laughs> uh, a Mexican standoff at least a couple times a night. Bar fight. Great. Bar fight. Bar fight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know, how fun and chaotic that would be. But the fans would just and the, and the audience would just be like, "What the fuck is going Show on?" Show them right? who's home, right, Vincent? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, what? it's it's funny because there's I I don't think that every that people realize how much fun Ghost Town can be. Mm -hmm. because they don't know where to look for it yeah um there's there's you know you you look at like just comparing ghost town to goring you think ah goring is is the fun zone yeah that's that's the bright zone it's the party it's people dancing and doing this and doing that but uh you you walk through ghost town at certain certain times and certain areas and it's a party and a half half in ghost town too oh yeah 100 percent Hundred percent. I mean, I love walking through. Sorry, I'm, I got to look for my computer charger because now it's telling me that needs to be plugged in. Oh, you're so, chilling. But uh, no, I, 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 I just, I, it, it is because in 2019 we saw a lot of of people who, um, who just kind of really just ran with it and had a good time, had fun, you know. And and that's always the case. Hold on, one second. And we go. We are plugged in. All right, cool. Um, no, you just, you, like you said, you got to know where to find it. And that's, I think what was, the, yeah. that was the blessing for us to actually get the time to, to, to walk around the scare zones longer than a normal guest would of just mm -hmm. passing through to get to the next maze. For us, we actually got to walk around and really absorb and, and see every character and whatnot. And, you, and you're right. There is certain characters that when they interact with each other, it is just, it's a, it's a load of fun. You're going to have a good time. Um, I've seen Vincent do it in front of me many times and it's just, just the, the I mean, I, I remember that one night you were just the, the night you were just shouting at people and it was just hilarious. Cause like, they don't know where to look, but to you, it's, it's a funny, oh, it's, it's a blast and a half when AJ's, over there. AJ, AJ's got some great one-liners. Oh, oh, I bet. Yeah. I mean, uh, AJ, I was there with you in 2019 when we saw some, like, I don't remember if you remember this, but there was, like, some guy in the middle of the zone, like, taking a picture, and you were, like, walking around him, and, like, he was still trying to take a picture, and you kind of just looked at me like, what the fuck did I just witness? <laughs> <laughs> I vaguely remember that. Um, but there were, like, because Vincent and I, we got to run a lot more than we have within the last, like, in the last three years that we've been working Ghost Town, and I just, like, the reason, the moment I really realized we clicked uh we were walking either through candy or, or the saloon and i would just start i would just ramp like rambling just saying stuff and then i'd see a group come up on our left side so also on vincent's left side so he's the left of me to the left side of them and i'd get their attention and i point and i'm like you're about to be real bummed out right now and then <laughs> vincent would just hit them and they'd scream like i told you <laughs> like that happened like three or five times just like clockwork like we had done it before um yeah. And it's just like every time with the saloon, you know, daddy's home. Oh, yeah, daddy, daddy's always home. Daddy's always home, baby. Daddy's always <laughs> home. Um, shout out to, what was it, Aaron and... Yeah, and Aaron and Wyatt. Um, <laughs> keeping that traditional alive here, hopefully. Yeah, we, we have to. You gotta, gotta keep the party alive. But like, and it's just super subtle things. Like, you, like again, because some nights are just really rough nights, you know? Some nights yeah. are very slow. So so you you really do have to like find a way to entertain yourself. Cause there, there will be times. Um, I always, always tell people like that, you know, ask me, Oh, like is it's slow tonight and this and that, or it's really busy. And I'm like, maybe for you, but like ghost town is so big. And just the way that the crowd moves through ghost town, it moves in, in patches and bunches. Mm -hmm. So birdcage, there might be a hundred people over there. You turn that corner and go down fog alley. There's like five. And like, it just, it, it weird times of the night. Sometimes it's like that. So you know, sometimes you're walking and it's like, oh, monster, monster, monster. All right, there's one guest. Uh, where's everyone else? So like, you have you do have to find a way to like, you know, just entertain yourself and and make yourself laugh or make your, you know, make who make another monster laugh. And I would have just I would have just gotten in the fetal position on the floor and just started screaming at the ground for no reason. <laughs> make floor angels, you know, just for exactly, yeah, floor angels. Because in the beginning of the season, it was to the point where you could literally do that. Oh like, yeah. With how empty the streets was. It was like, I was literally telling people I could do jumping jacks in the middle of the damn street zone and I would bump into no one. You could sprint through Fog Alley and you'd probably be okay. I yeah, may or may not have done that one night. You may or may not have. With or without a trash can. Cannot confirm nor deny. We can neither confirm nor deny that there's a presence here of a child. 
when it'd be super heavy with fog, I'd just start going in there. I'm like, I can't see, you can't see. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you guys, because I know a majority of you guys wear contacts. I mean, so it's it's even it's even way worse to see in, the, in that and they walk it through Fog Alley. I mean, I, I don't know how low does it. I do, anyone who wears like the mesh contacts, yeah. I want to say it's the how you light that helps her a lot too. That's insane. Really, she said that it helps her a lot. I don't know. I, I'm just going to take an assumption. I haven't talked to her yet. I'm hoping we can get her on the show this year. Uh, that's that's another two, year, two years in the making right there. I feel like Glow just has the schematics for Calico <laughs> in her natural DNA. It's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like prison break. Instead of a tattoo, it's just all locked in her brain. Oh, yeah. yeah. there. It's just like her body's natural reaction to know exactly where the fuck anything is in, in ghost town. <laughs> yeah. And every now and then she's got to like kind of look around to see where she's at. And be like, okay, I'm here. I need to go this way. Yep. Just reboot buffer. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah. Just every now and then taking that kind of that like pause to look around in character and stuff to see where she's at, get her surroundings, and then boom, going back in. She's got that Tesla autopilot. <laughs> for real. For real. For real. For real. Oh man, I mean. So, you know, talking going into for you guys, you know, looking into most of the season for you guys overall, like what was your experience for, for this season compared to, to, to past seasons and, and, you know, kind of looking forward to, to the 50th, like what's, what's the plans? Like, is there always just improvements for the characters or is there just more just kind of like, you know, with AJ, just kind of focusing on just having the last fun time doing it and, and kind of going out with the bang rather than just kind of making more improvements. Um. For me, I def I want to do something completely different with Judas. Um, I'm trying to have him more bandit than you know barber. I'm trying to find really cool different ideas to do. I've cons I'm considering bandoliers full of straight razors. Um, just kind of I don't know, do something fun. You know, do something different. It's, it's gonna be my, my last year as I'm in. So yeah, fuck it, why not? <laughs> Scroll out the bang, man. I th I think for me, um, I kind of look at haunt um from i take i take it year to year i mean each each night is a new night um no one knows if they're going to truly be back next year we can we can all hope we can all plan but sometimes life happens life gets in the way of things um so i i just kind of look at it as i always want to evolve and to you know to be you know better i want to be better than i was the night before and i want to be better than than the year i was you know uh, going from year to year, but I mean, I just, I take it just each night's a new night. I want to be better than the last night. I want yeah. to want do new things. Want to hey, this worked for me last night. Let's see how I can make it better. Yep, hundred percent, hundred percent. I mean, you know, looking to looking into the fiftieth man. It's 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 going to be a big year. There's a lot of new things going to be coming onto the table now. We got two brand new mazes that are going to be coming next year. A brand new scare zone uh, in the works for next year. Um, hopefully. I'm hoping because it's the 50th, uh, bring back the classic original style of the hanging um, because I feel like that's just an iconic staple of that event. And if you do a 50th anniversary without the hanging, it's just going to feel a little off, in my opinion. That's and, you know, I, I know they probably got in a lot of trouble with the pop culture stuff, but maybe take it back to where it was originally just a stunt show. No, like, parody or anything. Just have a stunt show with a story to it. Yeah, you could throw some comedy in there if you want to, but have That'd a stunt cool. show. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be really dope. Yeah, nothing against Carnival Grotesque this year. Carnival Grotesque was amazing. Yeah, it looked cool from what I could hear. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. If you watch, I think if you watch oh, yeah. the video that that we released for it, you could just hear my reactions in certain parts. Like you guys are fucking crazy. You're nuts. <laughs> so I I saw somebody had posted. I think it was on TikTok or something. But somebody almost, or unless it was part of the gig, but some guy on that wheel, the wheel, yeah. almost ate shit. It. You know what? I heard that he do that multiple nights, and I think that was just part of the show. That was part of the, to kind of get get people on the on the edge, like, oh, he's about to fucking fall, bro. And I was like, nah, he ain't gonna fall, bro, because he's so he's so talented at dealing with. He ain't down. Like, right. Yeah. <laughs> then he actually does fall. I would be like, oh shit, he really fell. Okay. <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> and I got that on camera. That's going viral. <laughs> But uh, no, they did a great job. That show was that was a good time this year, and and I really was. Uh, and Thrash being kind of the ringleader of that whole thing, I mean, that was just that was weird for me to see. I'm like, bro, why aren't you over there? Why aren't you thing? tall in the fog? Yeah, yeah, why aren't you tall as the bull? I missed the bull, but no, he did a he did a phenomenal job this year, and uh, 
yeah, it was good to see him still to do something. You know, I bet he loved it. But yeah. 50th anniversary, man, it's going to be huge. It's going to be fun. And uh, I'm hoping to see both of you guys back. Um, <laughs> I hope to be back. Yeah, I hope to be back if, as well. If Ghost Channel will have me, I will gladly be back. Absolutely. We'll probably have uh, a, another podcast a year from now um, talking about AJ's retirement at this point. Yeah. I think I have to put like a little greatest hits video so we can all cry and, and watch the, like, <laughs> in like memoriam. a ceremony or in memoriam. Arm, yeah. Arms of an angel by fucking who? Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Arms of an angel covered nice. by Slayer, you know, I'm just going to find that cover. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm excited though. And I'm excited for both of you gentlemen. You guys are, you guys are fantastic. Every single year you guys are out in the streets and you guys um, help bring that zone to life. And that's, that's, that's huge. Um, at least in my eyes, you know, because I, I, but then again, in my eyes, I, I go out looking for you guys. I don't just, I'm like, wait, I haven't seen this person. I got to go find them. <laughs> and I'll go on a little goose hunt. But, you know, you know me, I'm, I'm usually off to the side. I don't like to get in your guys' way because uh, that's a big no bueno. No bueno at all. Thanks for doing shit like this for us. Yeah. Really and hey. thank you because, like, I, from, I know we kind of touched on it earlier, but like from day one and like up until now, this has always felt like it's, by a fan for a fan so i appreciate that as a fan myself um i know i i do get to work it but if you know i wish that i would have had something like this before you know when i was coming to the event you know as a as a full-time guest i wish i could have started this sooner trust me i would have gotten way more invested if i would have gotten in sooner yeah um no, I, I I love doing these podcasts. I love learning about people, and I love catching up with with old friends to see how how things have been. Especially if we haven't talked to some people in a while. Um, I think Vincent holds the record for the most reoccurring guest for Sierra to Appreciation Month. So congratulations, three time podcaster, three time. There you go. And and AJ just made made two time. So it's it's like it's like if you're hosting an episode of Saturday Night Live. I was going to say, it's going to turn into an SNL thing. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, who's going to be the guest that comes on the most times? I I don't know who that is so far. I got to go back and relook at all the episodes, but there's got to be, I've had, I've probably had someone come on multiple times and, and talk. So I got to maybe do a little list of, of who's been the most reoccurring guest on the show or whatnot. I mean, we've had, we've interviewed so many people by this point and it's insane, but, um, Thankful for every opportunity, every interview that we've gotten. Some exclusive, some people who've never done podcasts before, but come out as naturals doing it. Um, How you got me? Yeah, <laughs> and we got we got Vincent, dude. Vincent's a one of a kind. Yeah, he's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's an angel fan, but we'll, we could talk about that on, on another podcast. But you know, no, no. Uh oh. The yeah. only thing the Angels have good for them right now is Shohei Otani, and I want yeah. him to be on the Dodgers. Mike Trout is a. Uh... I think not he's a big fan okay of Mike too. Trout. I'm not a big Trout fan, but to each their own. We lost a lot of players this year too, so I'm I'm scared for the Dodgers going forward now. Yeah, it's a it's going to be an interesting interesting year. I think I think I genuinely think that the Angels are at least another two years from making the playoffs. But I think uh, I think we could both agree though that we are both yeah. very pissed off that the Astros won the World Series. Oh yeah, I I don't 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 That's agree. One thing that. that Angels and Dodgers fan can have an agreement on. Actors are fucking garbage. Oh yeah, no one likes them. No one, <laughs> no likes, one them. likes cheaters. Bunch of cheaters. Bunch of cheaters. Bunch of cheaters. Um, now this is gonna be. Uh, this has kind of been a little bit difficult to ask for a lot this season because I know with a lot of of, of policies changing over at Knots with with you know social media and stuff. But um, is there are any social medias that you guys want to plug in um, that people can follow you guys at? I know there's not really much character driven accounts anymore, but. Um, I don't know. There's, 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 there's some 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 accounts are still there. Well, some accounts are still there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if if anyone cares, they can follow me on Instagram. It's just VRD17. I don't post haunt stuff like year round. I the stuff that I do post during season is very. Hey, this is a cool picture. I like it. <laughs> that's that's about it. In your personal day to day life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, same at Panic Bomb. All one word. Uh, P-A-N-I-C-B-O-M-B Just one word um, One of his favorite songs right there He got me into that song Like when we first started talking about it good. Told you. It's a good one It's a good album It's a really good album It's a very good album I, I, I can't delete I changed the name of my character account But I can't delete it Because I can't remember my password That's uh, 
I, I've heard that that's a, a reoccurring theme for many a monsters. Yeah. <laughs> as long as the name is changed and the bio is changed, we're good. You know what I mean? It's like the barber. Um, and yeah. Scary farm the barber time. of not ghost town at not scary farm. Definitely doesn't work at not scary farm. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I love what you guys bring to the table every single year. Uh, very sad to find out that uh, AJ, this will be your last year next year, but I'm, I'm very thankful and happy that I'll be able to get to see that. Um, yeah, and it's, it's my, really my another respect. legend leaving. I know, uh, Vincent, you, you still got some time to put on, buddy. So I expect to see you for another couple years. A lot of life gets people. in the way. There's a lot uh, of us leaving, Vincent. Huh? You, there's a lot of us leaving. Yes, well, it's gonna be up to you, Vincent. Okay, you gotta hold that to your and mighty. Oh, my lord, make sure that, bet, doesn't suck that, for the that is something that, like, I, I like, I like. So many of the people who are leaving, I like who they are and what they are. So, like, if I hope that I, I do hope that we get a lot of rookies next year, in the sense so that they can learn from you guys before you guys leave. Because it's what it's one thing to be like, oh, dude, this guy used to do that, to do this, this guy used to do that, but it's another thing to to be there and to experience it and to learn from you know from the source. Yeah, so. that's fine. <clears throat> <I'm-> <laughs> But. We're gonna we're gonna put it together a nice little tribute for you in the next next year's podcast you watch. Appreciate I think it. we should do a podcast of all the 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 people retiring next year. Did that just a you know, like a panel of just the retire the, the retire the Hall of Famers should we call? Them? See if you can do like, that the summer before. What's up? See if you can do it the summer before leading into their last year. That's true. That'd be, that'd be one good. before one after before the before of how we feel and the going after in, and the after of how we feel coming out. I guarantee you there's going to be two different uh, <laughs> two very vibes to that be, podcast. It's very bittersweet to I am so tired. I am so done. I'm glad I'm, glad I'm so tired. <laughs> I need sleep. I, you know what? I feel that way after every season. People, people always be like, oh, are you sad it's over? I'm just like, yeah, I'm sad that it's over. I don't get to see you know a lot of the people that, that I do for six weeks out of the year. But at, on Halloween, I am my body hurts. I haven't slept in a month. I'm I'm just I'm so ready for this to be over, and then the next day, November first. Oh, dude, I can't wait for Haunt next year. Like it's yeah. gonna be so awesome. <laughs> or like, oh, I wish Haunt was year round. Like you, you don't say that, okay? <laughs> year round with like working every every night, four hour shifts. I'll hey, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it for you. You want me to do that? All right, cool. Give me give me every other weekend. Yeah. Okay. I I I don't <laughs> I I like Haunt being the duration that it is because it feels special. Mm-hmm. And I think that, you know, celebrating haunt year round, it's cool, but I feel like it loses a little bit of the magic. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I like, I like doing, I like what to see what people come up with during Christmas time only because, you know, there's so much you can do with a, a, a haunted, scary Christmas, mm-hmm. especially with the lead icon behind that, which obviously is Krampus. Mm-hmm. Um, so to kind of see, you know, things like that is pretty cool. And there's a, there's a handful that's going to happen uh in the next month or so that yeah, i would yeah, check Rana out Terror has one coming out right ran tear is doing a two-day event for christmas um you know castle uh castle dark's doing a krampus event uh week uh weekends from like uh november 19th all the way to january 6th i believe so i i saw that but i didn't like read into that more what are what are they doing i think it's going to be like a full blown walkthrough of like a krampus christmas thing that they're trying to do um that'd be really cool so I'm gonna I'm gonna go try to check that out. I mean, season screamings is 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 literally next weekend, yeah. um, which is Midsummer Screams putting that on. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll be there covering that all weekend. Pasadena, um, right? Pasadena, High Desert's doing a Nightmare Before Christmas uh, walkthrough, which is gonna be like their own twist on on a Nightmare Before Christmas. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they accomplish that. Um, there's a lot of things, little little things here and there that if you if you find. And then you follow the right stuff, then we'll probably be posting about more stuff too. So just follow us on Instagram at the Knights of War. Shameless plug. Seamless plug. Seamless plug. Seamless uh, transition. Shameless transition. But gentlemen, I want to thank you guys for uh coming back on the show. It's it's always a pleasure. Um and and to 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 be to get you guys part of week four. Uh it's been a it's been a blast. And I can't believe to say that we only have a few more days of this and and we're Hanging up Scarecrow Appreciation Month, and we're going back to a war a week, a one a week basis. I mean, it's been, 
it's been busy, but it's been a lot of fun. And, and, and it's just, we've interviewed so many great people this year, so much, so many great talent out there this year. And there's still a, a shitload of talent that we've not even touched yet. And we want to, we want to go interview them next. So, you know, super looking forward to that. Thank you for having us well, again. Thank you for again, doing this in general. Yeah. Thank you again for providing us with this outlet and platform to speak. Cause we mm-hmm. really don't deserve it. Really, uh, really don't deserve it. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> I have hey, I have the platform. Might as well share it with others, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> we we, we the love. a minimum wage job, minimum wage seasonal job. That's it. <laughs> oh, real quick, before we go, do you want to know the story about uh the the we make more than you? Oh yes. so uh one night AJ and I are, you know, we're off doing our thing, we're bannering, and we turn that corner to to the to go to the saloon and we see two guys sitting at a table. So, you know, we walk up to them and start talking to them, having a real good conversation. You know, we they they were having a little attitude with us. We were we were giving it back, you know, not 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 escalating, just you know, playful banner. Nope. And all of a sudden, this this lady walks out of the saloon, turns to us, and just goes, I make more money than you. <laughs> like, like mid-conversation with these dudes. Didn't have anything to do with the conversation that we were having with these two gentlemen. <laughs> And AJ and I just kind of look at each other like, okay, what? Like, <laughs> I make more than you do in a year. And we're like, we hope so. We're only here for six weeks. <laughs> we don't make a whole lot of money. <laughs> and then oh, like, like her friends came out or like her other friend came out and you could see their demeanor change. Like they went from like, oh, this is fun to, oh God. It's, oh, my God. it's they got embarrassed. Thanks. And we were just like, is this your friend? And they're like, yeah, I'm like you gotta get a new one. Like you, I forget what I said, but it it culminated into me chanting "party pooper," and then everyone in everyone Cape in the surrounding area started chanting "party pooper" at this woman. <laughs> I would have been like, yeah, I would assume you make more money than me. I'm only here for a few hours for a few weeks out of a seasonal thing. I don't do this full time. This isn't a career what choice of mine. Tell me more about your insecurity. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, uh, dude, for all you know, I'm a freaking custodian at a high school. And this is just what I do on the side. You know what I mean? It's like you can double commission. I'm, I'm like, as long I was like, yeah, you can make more money than me. The only thing I care about in this life is a paycheck to pay on my bills and some freaking benefits so I can freaking go with the doctors if I need to. Yep. I mean, it was literally like, well, thanks, Debbie Downer. Way to kill the vibe. Like, yeah. Really? It was just like, yeah, da da da. Or well, you're da 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 da. And we're just like, literally. I would have started getting in her head to be like, yeah, well, I got Cal Purr's retirement. Like, get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> what do you got for your retirement? Nothing. <laughs> Oh. Start getting real adult real quick in a haunt. <laughs> what does your health plan look like? Nada. Do you have a 401k? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. <laughs> More like 401k. <laughs> Did you just get an 11% raise? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> it was just a, just a uh, trip that we ran into. And then like always telling everyone in the saloon who was home, letting them know that it's home. Um, just running with Vincent. Vincent, dude, thank you for a good season. Thank you for a good season. Like like I said, I, I hadn't ran with you before and I have told you this, you know, out, outside of this podcast, but you know, you you are one of the in my eyes, one of the better monsters in Ghost Town. Um so being able to to scare with you and learn from you and and banner with you and shenaniganize with you at the at the Indians um was definitely a cool moment. Um cool moments throughout the season just cuz it I think that it helped me enhance my character so thank you for that yeah no problem i mean let's do one last uh we'll do one last run next season yeah you got the biggest and better run that you've ever had in your career both of you because this is gonna be the last time Vincent, you get to scare with aj it'll be the last time ah, anthony fuck <laughs> <laughs> i'm yeah, just setting up the let's, scene here let's buddy. make it memorable yeah, i'm, it I'm memorable. just setting up the the hype for the, inevitable <laughs> That's me. That's that's what I do. I just I'm just the hype guy. I'm just setting up. I'm setting the stage. I'm like, this is your WrestleMania main event match right here. Yeah, this is it. This is this is my retirement match at WrestleMania. This is. By the way, uh, if you guys are gonna watch WrestleMania, uh, you good luck trying to find me in that crowd. I'm sitting on the very top, so that's gonna be fun. So how much was that? Was that your whole kidney or just half the kidney? <laughs> um, that was that was both kidneys, buddy. Both kidneys. <laughs> oh, so I'm just living that kidney. Jeez. It was so worth it. It was yeah, just so I mean, worth it. They're in LA, then like they never come to LA. <laughs> I know, and it's we finally got a stadium for them to do a WrestleMania, at, and 
I finally get to go to a Raw after Mania, so I'm just I'm just gonna fucking. Where's I may be in debt. I may be in debt afterwards, but fuck it, it's gonna be worth it. Money's not real. We're all dying. No. We're all, <laughs> yep. Money's not existent. Um, but with all that being said, I, I hope everyone enjoyed today's episode of the podcast. If you guys did, make sure to hit that subscribe button with that bell notification be where every time we put up a new video, uh, hit that like button, leave some comments down for Vincent and AJ Judas and our favorite ghost town mailman. Um, uh, make sure to, to leave some comments down what you guys thought about their performances this year and uh, leave some uh, what you guys feel about AJ's final year. You don't care. Fine, think, fine. think about the, uh, <laughs> the, the immemorium questions. Remember, yeah, get it, get it, get ready for the next podcast in the, in the next year because we're going to have a, a panel of all the people <laughs> retiring and then and, and getting the some of them we've probably never interviewed, some of them we have interviewed. So it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of your favorites are leaving, so go to the 50th. Go yeah. to the 50th. Don't miss the 50th next year. Give your tickets the minute they go on sale because I guarantee you it's going to be a big one. Honestly, be awesome. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be awesome. But uh, if you guys want to follow us on social media, at Nights of Four on Twitter and at the Nights of Four on TikTok and Instagram. So go check us out there. Uh, but with nothing else said, I'm your host, Anthony. It's Vincent. That's AJ. We got the Ghost Town gang up and in here, and we will see you guys tomorrow for another episode. Bye. Bye, guys.